Atif Raja's brother was among the victims in last month's plane crash in Pakistan. 98 people were killed when a Pakistan International Airlines flight went down in the southern city of Karachi. Atif holds the airline responsible. Within days of Asif's death, my father also died of the shock and grief. Pakistan and the civil aviation caused this tragedy, which was avoidable had the government taken action after all the previous crashes. There have been at least 10 plane crashes in Pakistan in the past 17 years. Preliminary investigations suggest the crash in May was caused by human error. Investigators found the pilots were discussing the coronavirus pandemic minutes before attempting to land and reportedly ignored instructions by the air traffic controller. The investigation also cast doubts over pilot training. Licensing too has come under the spotlight after the aviation minister revealed nearly one in three of Pakistan's pilots could have acquired licenses through fraud. Out of 860 pilots, there are 262 licenses and exams are dubious. It includes PIA and other private airlines. Some are also employed by international airlines. 150 pilots have been grounded immediately and inquiries initiated against the rest. The Supreme Court has asked the Civil Aviation Authority to clarify the situation within two weeks. Other pilots say they are shocked and are calling for a thorough investigation. Why were they renewed every year? Why were they even issued? This is a big question. On behalf of Pakistan Airline Pilots Association, we do not endorse, we do not accept any dubious method in obtaining uh, this license. So we definitely demand a, a, a transparent inquiry into this and we should be, we should be uh, informed who these people are and all the people involved, whether they're in the Civil Aviation Authority or the individuals involved. Experts believe corruption within Pakistan's aviation industry runs much deeper. In many cases, I, I've uh, corrupt pilots' licenses that I've seen. Um, there has been institutional uh, corruption, and there's just several disconnections within the system that usually it takes the investigators going back through everything with a fine tooth comb later on to find out. During his election campaign, Prime Minister Imran Khan had promised wide-ranging reforms and transparency in the running of the national carrier. But two years on, there have been no major changes to combat endemic corruption. It's not just the pilots. Claiming false academic credentials is a much wider issue in Pakistan. Even the minister who revealed the dubious license holders was himself suspended previously for holding a fake diploma. The crash investigation has recommended scrutiny and analysis of air crew records related to fitness, licensing, training records and information about crew scheduling and rest periods during the previous month. But the families of the victims say they are no closer to justice. They are demanding that those responsible for ignoring passenger safety be held accountable. Osama bin Javed, Al Jazeera.